Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have Samsung Galaxy S6 with me and today we are going to install Android 7.1.1 Android Nougat to this device. So the device I am holding right now in my hands is the international model of a Samsung Galaxy S6. So this one is the SMN, SMG920F, the international model of the Samsung Galaxy S6. And this one runs currently Android 6.0.1, the um, official Android 6.0.1, the Marshmallow firmware for that device. And today we are going to install Android 7.1.1 Android Nougat for this device. So, right, so let's start with the installation of Android Nougat 7.1.1 to this device. For that you actually need TWRP recovery installed on your device. I won't show you how to install it, since there are many other videos uh, showing you how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S6. And you and uh, you need two other things, so you need to do to, to download the uh, ROM at the first place, and you also need to download the G-Apps. So, I've provided both links in the description of this video, so you, need, you just need to download these uh, two files and paste them to your uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 and after that we can start installing that so at the first place you need to power off your device of course and then boot into the recovery mode of your device to boot into the recovery mode you need to press the volume up button the home button and the power button uh, the power on button at the same time so let's do that and you need to release these three buttons until you see this boot screen so as you can see the phone booted up into the recovery mode here and in, and the first thing you need to do is to go uh, to go to the wipe option here and to perform a wipe. I would recommend you to go to the advanced wipe option here and wipe the whole Devlik, the system and the data and together with the cage. So delete, uh, select um, all four things here and just swipe to uh, wipe. As you can see, it, this was quite fast here, and now we can install the ROM. So, uh, at the first place, you need to go to install up to the install option here and select the ROM I've provided in the, in the description of this video here. So you can see this one is the ROM here. You just need to navigate for uh, to your ROM. In my case, it's in the internal SD card, internal storage, of course, because the Galaxy S6 hasn't got any micro SD card slot. So you just need to locate your ROM where you have stored it. In my case, it's here. Just press on it and swipe to flash, and this could take maybe one minute maybe two minutes maybe a bit longer you just need to wait So as you can see the installation of the ROM is completed now and now we need to install the G-Apps. So the, you need to G-Apps, uh, you need to the G-Apps to get the Play Store and all that Google stuff working on your device. So without the G-Apps you can't get the Play Store, you can't get the YouTube working all or other things of Google. So for that you again just need to go to the install option here and select where you uh, and locate your uh, G-Apps. So in my case it's in the downloads or uh, folder here so just get in there and install the G apps. So this one could also take a few minutes, you again just need to wait. So the installation process of the uh, G apps is also completed now and what you can uh, can do now is to go to the wipe option and do a wipe again, but you actually don't need to do that. And now, mm, now you can just reboot to your system and wait until the uh, phone is, uh, is uh, booted up. As you can see you also get the uh, dirty unicorn style um, boot animation here which looks quite different than the uh, stock one um, quite funny here so as you can see the phone boots up now and it asks for your sim pin so let me set in given my pin here and now as you can see this is lock screen of Android Nougat, you just need to swipe to uh, unlock your phone and here we are in the, uh, in, the <coughs> in the setup menu. So just select your language here and I will select English now so everybody can understand anything here. Um, 
press on let's go and now we need to set up our device so set up as new then uh, he will ask you for the Wi-Fi let me do that fast quickly So now you need to give in your Google um, account here, your Google Gmail. Um, let me do that. So now he asks if you want to uh, set up your fingerprint. So the fingerprint scanner is working quite good in this room. So let's do that. Say add fingerprint. Then of course you need to set in your uh, pattern first. Then you can go and set in your fingerprint here. So say done now. Next. <coughs> and as you can see this ROM also includes Google Assistant. So you can use Google Assistant on that ROM. So this is really nice. But um, now let's say continue here and say no thanks and say all set. And here we are. So this is Android 7.1.1 on the Samsung Galaxy S6. So let me confirm you that first. Here in the settings at the bottom you can see it says Android 7.1.1 and if you get in there you can basically see that it's um, Android 7.1.1 Android Nougat here. Um, um, AOKP, the <coughs> nice ROM, and right, so let's take a look at this ROM now. So, as you can see, you got this pixel style UI on this phone. So, this is uh, based on stock Android, so this isn't TouchBiz or something like that. You can see the new notification panel with these uh, um, icons on the top here and the uh, expand arrow here. So, you can swipe twice here, and you can see you got. Uh, other toggles here which is really nice you can also directly set your Wi-Fi from here but this is also something which is nice and you also get quite a lot of toggles here which you can enable like um, location or uh, music or I don't know so there are quite a lot of uh, quite a lot um, toggles available so let's turn off the location here and in the settings there there's something called ROM control so here you can basically change the uh, style of the uh, ROM so you can change the um, status bar for example you can change the action of the hardware keys here so here are, are uh, really nice options so let's take a look at the uh, lock screen for example here so you can enable or disable blur background so you will get a blur backgrounds but actually this one is not working here as you can see right now um, you can also enable or disable media cover art if you play a music track for example um, and right so you can also enable quick unlock um, and all that standard stuff which you use usually get on all ROMs so you also have a status bar um, option here so you can change the position of the clock you can center the clock here and all that standard stuff so right so this is pretty much it here of course you get the new recent apps panel also um, the camera is also working but actually the camera is not as good as on TouchBiz based ROM so you won't get the best camera experience on that ROM here as you can see um, it is working it is working fine um, but it's and it's also enough for everything except for professional uh, photo shootings for example or actually you won't get the best experience with uh, that ROM um, I mean for in the camera um, if we go into the settings here again, you can see that um, this ROM also uses quite a not that much uh, RAM as the TouchWiz ROM. So you can see it uses like 42% of the whole RAM. So this is uh, this device has 2.6 gigabytes available um, in total, and of the 2.6 gigabytes, 1.5 gigabytes are free. So this is a, a quite okay number. Um, and right, as you can see, there are no lags. Everything is working uh, just fine. The battery life is also quite okay. It is not as good as on TouchWiz based ROMs, but it's still okay to get to about one day. Um, 
And right, so this is pretty much it. If you liked the video, give it a uh, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike and peace out.